Scientists find potentially alive 830 million year old microorganisms. A recent discovery has scientists rethinking the history of life on Earth. A team of geologists have discovered potentially living microorganisms that may be 830 million years old. They found the tiny remains of prokaryotic and algal life inside halite crystals. This discovery points to the possibility that halite, also known as rock salt or sodium chloride, may be a great resource for studying ancient saltwater environments. Additionally, just like the microorganisms the geologists found inside the halite crystals, they may find more organisms that might still be alive. This study has many implications for the study of ancient life here on Earth, but also on other planets like Mars. On Mars, scientists have already found salt deposits that may be evidence of ancient water reservoirs. The possible life that scientists found inside the halite crystals also presents ancient life in an entirely new way. In their research paper presenting the study, the team writes, Ancient chemical sediments, both on terrestrial and extraterrestrial origin, should be considered potential hosts for ancient microorganisms and organic compounds. Ancient microfossils had been found pressed into rock formations, which preserve life in a different way than salt. Inside the halite, fluid can be preserved, and these fluid inclusions are incredibly valuable as they contain information about the water at the time the mineral was preserved, like the water temperature, chemistry, and atmospheric temperature. Previously, scientists have found other microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and algae inside halite environments. Some of the questions they are still trying to answer are whether or not those organisms are as old as the halite they live in, and whether or not they are even still alive. The researchers have noted that the fluid inclusions could serve as microhabitats for the organisms. They also know that there are organisms in modern extreme environments that can essentially go into hibernation where they are still alive, with their biological activities slowed down. This could be the case with the microorganisms inside the halite. In addition, they have already found living prokaryotes inside 250 million year old halite, so it's possible that number will reach as high as 830 million with other findings such as this recent one. Scientists researching this finding have noted that these microorganisms can now be identified without destroying the samples, which could give scientists a new set of tools that can be used for identification that can have broader implications for our understanding of Earth. Earth has a 27.5 million year heartbeat, but we don't know what causes it. Mother Earth is a mysterious force to be reckoned with. As much as we love to honour ourselves as a great species, we have only existed for a tiny portion of the Earth's current lifespan. There is a reason why ancient pagan societies all over the classical world viewed our beloved planet as a maternal force of divinity. It provides for us, gives us food and resources we can use for our survival and leisure. Whereas in the past our ancestors revered the elements and the power they had over them in fear and fascination, we have taken a stance of control. We like to believe we are in power, but the earth, nature and all chemicals and creatures have existed before we even evolved. Nature has a mind of its own. It does its own thing and cares little for humans. And as it turns out, the earth has a heartbeat and a pulse which has existed for about 260 million years. Currently, there is a lack of explanation as to why this is but a research team from the University of New York has been carrying out the study with Michael Rapino, a geologist, as the team's leader. This heartbeat is not the kind we are accustomed to. Rather, it is a title given to recurring clusters of phenomena and events. Events such as mass extinction, where major life forms on Earth perish. Past mass extinctions have occurred simultaneously with the Earth's pulse. Generally, whenever there is one major catastrophe happening, it is followed by other minor disasters, volcanic eruptions, fluctuating sea levels, magma spewing from the Earth's crust, among other things. The study concluded that this heartbeat and pulse has repeated various times in a cycle during the past 260 million years, but there is no scientific reason as to why that is. Scientists are baffled by the cycle's existence. The knowledge that our planet, which provides for us, also harshly punishes us and takes away what she has given is frightful to be sure. 
but there is no need to worry at the moment as the next predicted pulse is not supposed to occur for another 20 million years. In the last 260 million years, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, became extinct, the original continent of Pangaea split into seven, and humans evolved into the civilizations we are today, and all through that time, natural disasters have hit harshly and cruelly, often all at once. Every 27.5 million years, the heartbeat repeats, and disastrous consequences repeat in its wake. Rampino addressed the fact that many geologists believe these events are simply random by assuring them that their study found a continuous cycle which occurs, historically, at the same time, too concise to be random. These geologic events are correlated and not random, says Rampino. Ozone hole near South Park shrinks to smallest size ever. Humanity's impact on the Earth is well known, and our impact on the ozone layer is one that has incited significant action since it was growing year on year. In 2019, the hole in the ozone layer near the South Pole shrunk to its smallest size since 1982. It is not actually a hole, but merely an area with depleted levels of ozone specifically an area in which ozone concentrations drop below the historical threshold of 222 Dobson units. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA, polar orbiting satellites are used to monitor the ozone hole. According to NASA and the NOAA, the Antarctic ozone hole was affected by abnormal weather patterns in 2019, limiting ozone depletion which led to the smallest ozone hole since 1982. Ozone, which is comprised of three oxygen atoms, occurs naturally in the stratosphere and adds protection to the planet from ultraviolet solar radiation, which can cause cataracts and skin cancer. Stratospheric ice clouds form in the Antarctic when temperatures fall below minus 78 Celsius, and these clouds promote production of chlorine and bromine, which when combined with sunlight in the Antarctic spring causes a reaction that leads to a loss of ozone resulting in the Antarctic ozone hole. The annual ozone hole reached its peak extent of 6.3 million square miles on September 8, 2019, and then shrank to less than 3.9 million square miles for the remainder of September and October. Unusually warm weather led to the smaller ozone depletion. Similar weather patterns in 1988 and 2002 also resulted in atypically small ozone holes, Normal weather conditions tend to result in a maximum area of about 8 million square miles in late September or early October. The 2019 weather systems were unusually strong, warming the Antarctic stratosphere. It was 16 Celsius warmer than average during September, a time where ozone destruction is normally at its peak. According to NASA, it was the warmest September for 40 years. The Antarctic polar vortex was also weakened, moving its centre, which is normally over the South Pole. This slowed vortex rotation, allowing air to sink in the lower stratosphere, which impacted the ozone hole in two ways. It minimised the persistence of polar stratospheric clouds and allowed ozone-rich air from elsewhere in the southern hemisphere to travel to above the Antarctic ozone hole area. There is a massive variability each year with the size of the ozone hole. Whilst 2019 was the smallest on record since 1982, the 2020 hole is above average for the last decade. On September 20, 2020, the annual ozone hole reached its peak area at 9.6 million square miles, driven by persistent cold temperatures and strong circumpolar winds, similar to the value recorded in 2018. However, by approximately 2070, scientists expect the ozone hole to shrink back to the size it was in 1980. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.